Hey, what's going on guys? So today is Father's Day and I just want to give, give a shout out to all the dads out there, all the fathers that are out there, you know, taking care of your kids, taking care of the family, uh, being that supportive role, being that, you know, that that stone that's holding holding the house down. I just want to say thank you for everything that you do. Fathers are, are a great thing to have uh, in the household. I miss my dad a whole lot. I loved my dad. Um, and it was amazing to have him around while I did, but it was, you know, this day is for you. And I just want to say thank you for everything we're doing, that you do. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys though, is we're actually at the in-laws house. So we're at, we're at Miss Butter's uh, family's house and this place is amazing. They own a couple, a couple of acres of land, but they got a pond, they got all this just all over the place. And it's just awesome to just kind of come out here, relax after a long shift that I had yesterday. And it's just amazing to be here. Um, what I wanted to kind of use this video today is kind of entertain you guys. I wanted to, you know, talk about my, about my dad, some of the memories I have. Ask you guys about your memories, about what you've had with maybe your your dad and or your father figure in life. Maybe it's your stepdad, or maybe it's even your mom that's actually taking care of you, and you didn't have get to have your dad in your life. Um, and just kind of ask you guys, you know, what are the best memories that you have with your father? Um, and just let me know. I'd love to get to know you guys a lot better, and uh, you know, kind of bounce off things that maybe you experienced in your childhood that I experienced too. Um, and also, too, we actually might be shooting today, so we're gonna get some pistols out. They have a little range on their uh, on their grounds, and we're gonna shoot some pistols and, and just have a little fun and show you guys some of the some of the fun that we have here. But um, yeah, I wanted to get into some of the stories of my dad. My dad was an amazing guy. Um, it, it it sucks to have lost him. I was in Afghanistan when he passed away, uh, and it's just it, it left a void in in my life of, uh, when he passed. But the one thing is that, you know, even though he passed, I have some great memories of my dad. My dad was an amazing guy. You know, he served 39 years as a police officer, which, I mean, for any career whatsoever, 39 years is a long, long time. Uh, but, I mean, just, you know, when he passed, there wasn't a bad memory of him whatsoever that I could think of. I mean, I mean, a memory of him when I was a little kid, he would take me out and go get donuts. Um, we would go to Lamar's Donuts. If you know, you know, the Kansas City area, Lamar's is a great place to go get some breakfast and get some donuts. Um, and him and I would just go out and get donuts for the family and uh, just drive around, listen to the oldies and just kind of just have a bonding experience of listening. And I think that's kind of funny thing like now, like I look back and I love oldies music. Um, and it's just kind of funny like that. And I mean, how going, you know, going to work, getting to know like a little bit more of the police department when I'd go to, you know, uh, take your kid to work day. Um, and it's just funny events like that you, you, you build life experiences from with your father or you know whoever is taking care of you and it's just kind of funny things of looking back now of you know what your perception is on you know different things in your life. Um, another memory is my dad was a great influence on, on me uh, you know getting in the army, getting into ROTC, going to college. Um, for the longest time I did not know what I was going to do when it came to college and he kind of influenced my life to get to that. And I don't regret it whatsoever. I mean, I think he made an amazing decision. I loved college, loved ROTC, loved the Army. Um, and it was just an amazing experience for him to give me. Um, and the last thing is uh, another memory that I, that I really enjoyed with him was it started when I was going through infantry school. And every time I would get off work, um, I would actually call him on my way to my, my apartment or my house when I got back to, uh, to Fort Bragg. Um, I would just give him a call. Just say, hey, you know, Dad, you know, what's going on? You know, ask him about his day because he was retired by the time that him and I were having these phone calls and just have a conversation with him. Half hour, 20 minutes, whatever it was, you know, a ride from, you know, the base to home and just kind of just have that conversation. And out of anything, that is the one thing I miss. Um, it, it was just a great way for us to bond together when we weren't close to each other. So um, what I would say guys for anything with the stories that I have about my dad and the memories I have of him um, is I hope you guys have the same memories. I really do. I hope you guys have the same connection with your dad that I do and because and, I just want nothing but the best for you guys. For everyone that's supporting me, I wish nothing but the best and I hope that you got that from your father. Um, or if you, maybe you're a dad right now and you want to take care of your kids, man, I hope you, I hope you leave the lasting memory that my dad did on me and I cannot wait to be a father and be the same kind of dad that my dad was so um, but one thing I wanted to do as well before we go out to shooting I wanted to show you guys I know a lot of people came out for supporting me on the t-shirt and that was one thing I wanted to show you so BAM my t-shirt finally came in look at that I got the blue with the with the symbol and everything I also got the black as well but the black hasn't come in yet but I just wanted to you know show you guys yeah you know I'm here as well you know trying to wrap in my shirt my in-laws have actually bought a couple of pairs as well um, and they plan on wearing them very soon but uh, 
yeah, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's supporting me with the t-shirts um, and the channel and on Twitch and everything. Thank you guys so much. So hopefully we'll be getting into uh, some shooting here in a second. So hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy that and I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> back home I just want to say yet again happy Father's Day thank you to all the dads out there that have always been you know busting their ass to support their family and support their kids um, and continue to do so it definitely means a lot to to us as kids when we're young um, and it definitely means a lot as a father to you know have that influence on people's lives uh, to make them better all right, so I hope to see everybody else also uh, tonight. We're gonna be streaming tonight at uh, eight o'clock EST. So I hope to see a whole lot of people on the on the Butter Bar Gaming Network and uh, to hopefully have a lot of fun tonight. Hopefully we can get some uh, AP8s uh, going on in LTS or something like that. But uh, again, I know there's a, a, a work week starting up. So I want everybody to have a great work week. Have a great start of the work week, guys. And by anything, just have a great rest of the day. And I will see you guys next time.